Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. These spots, these two spots uh, that I found uh, in the x-ray plates uh, from the Lion reactor, uh, I identified that uh, the Russians had uh, seen the same thing in period between 2009 and 2012 and I noted that yesterday uh, with their experiments and I just looking through some other notes um, and I came across this work by Keith Fredericks um, who has looked a lot into strange radiation and he did this experiment um, where he was taking some nuclear emulsion and he was putting a very strong neodymium iron boron uh, magnet on here uh, and he was using his fingertips. Now this is interesting, we'll, we'll look again when we uh, come to um, review the presentations of uh, Shishkin. Um, but what I want to point about the fingertips is uh, obviously um, that Shoulders said in his uh, uh, tufa with uh, uh, John Hutchison that uh, the most obvious place to get EVOs is from your fingers that you will have experienced so when you get a discharge from your fingers or even when you don't. Now whether that inspired uh, Keith Fredericks I don't know but he decided to uh, put a, uh, an insulating plate, um, a film on top of the uh, nuclear emulsion and place the fingers there and have this x-ray sometimes doing some pre-exposure which may be important which we'll talk about also when we look at the presentations of Shishkin. Anyway using this uh, he actually um, says down here that he has lines and dots. Well, we've all seen the kind of line tracks. He says the tracks appear as dots and lines. Dots indicate an angle of instance uh, of the particle more perpendicular to the plane of emulsion. And then he says tracks often occur in twin pairs, i.e. there are two types of tracks. There are dots and lines and tracks often occur in twin pairs. Now, if we go down and uh, look at this, this is his photograph, and he's saying, note the internal structure of all black dots uh, and dots with white centers. So, um, <laughs> here we have a ring and a spot, a ring and a spot. Uh, where have we seen this before? Well, we've seen it in quite a few um, experiments and uh, analysis of experiments. And it's one thing that I will come to draw the attention to. Um, if people haven't got this book, I, I suggest they get it. Um, and uh, it's it's something that I came to the conclusion of by just looking at physical data before I even saw this. But um, uh, there's a, a comment in there by Mari B. King, and uh, it really chimes uh, with the kind of thinking that led me to um, uh, understand a little bit more about the structure of what is causing these uh, things. Anyway, I just wanted to say this is another person that has observed not only the ring spots, but also uh, they have observed the these ring spots often occurring in uh, twin pairs. So thank you very much for your time. See you in the next video.